All right, I'll put in pieces here. To any action, there's always a reaction. There's dualism in all of us. We are product of evolution. Uh, we create God and thinking with our brain. It's actually the little story of a microbe and a bacteria after three billion years to get to know itself. Of course, they all that apparatus in some ways, in way, shape, or form, can be originally traced to microbes. Microbes. And um, that's, you know, so to really understand, exactly. uh, like Nicole King, who's here at Berkeley, to understand the origin of bodies themselves, you really have to understand microbes. Exactly. Where we came from microbes. These, these mechanisms first are. Are, 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 are arise as microbes are doing their jobs being microbes and doing their jobs being microbes. Microbes evolve, yeah. you have cyanobacteria, then the organism slowly in evolution created a toolkit, genes, that further evolve, eventually creating us. Uh, you needed your cyanobacteria to sort of crank on the oxygen, get the oxygen budget going, then you could have sort of, uh, that's sort of rocket fuel for multicellular creatures, but that's and in everything, there's a du duplication. It's a mirror image. One hand, left hand, right hemisphere, left hemisphere, one ear. No, everything is like that. Dualism. To any action, a reaction. There was a void, nothing existed. All of a sudden, there's a big bang, and everything starts existing. You have dryness, you have wetness, you have fire, and you have uh, uh, you know heat and cold and so forth. Everything has a dualism. Sanity, atheist, and uh, insanity, the religious believers in God. Bacteria evolve, uh, being at the right place at the right time. But see, to any action, there's always a reaction. As we can see, we are a product of evolution, but of a sperm, which is microscope. All that bundle of information, the universe is uh, in a little tiny swimmer, the sperm. And uh, it never was sapped into existence, evolved after three billion years. Look how small it is. And like epoxy, <laughs> you know, uh, it uh, fertilized an egg, which is also very, very, very small. And after nine months, you have a thinking primate. Here are the facts. We are composed of atoms, aren't we? Atoms discovered you know, by Democritus, or given the name by Democritus, the smallest little thing. That's 2,400 years ago. And atoms that compose everything began to exist. 14 billion years ago, by the Big Bang. A proven fact, because, you know, the fingerprints are all over. Star stuff. The debris of exploding stars that manufactured the atoms of which were composed. Atoms of which were we composed. are stardust. Look inside the sperm. They are so microscopic and minute. And they're like universes in... Part they're like of universes. a star. In fact, everything around us was once part of a star. Those stars forged all the heavier elements that would much later come together to create the molecules that form everything we see. All recycled atoms. It's absolutely true. We see the same kind of recycling here on Earth. The atoms that form the planet have been reused to create and sustain every organism that ever lived. These organisms and mutations created eyes the eyes we'd be able to see things with and the brain to think about creating everything in God. Remember this, when we take a shit, there's tons of billions of universes of bacteria. They're all around very happy. They're living things that we, we evacuate from our bodies, our waste matter. Bacteria gave rise to us and we have tons. We're swimming, we have bacteria all over the place. We carry bacteria all the time. And with that evolve what? Viruses. So when a retarded Christ psychotic tells me, I'll pray for you. May Jesus bless you. I said, are you talking shit?
It brings up a whole issue about, about the, the virus and mutations in the virus. Um, in fact, HIV is not a single virus, but HIV is a, is a number of closely related viruses because, remember I talked about the HIV reverse transcriptase, that it makes, it makes errors as it's replicating the RNA into DNA. Those errors as are called mutations that prove evolution. And every organism has DNA, the instructions of how to build it, the toolkit in every living thing. Basically his spinal column? That's right. So the whole body is organized in these very nice repeating segments. It's the groundbreaking step in forming a fly. Just as they did with the ancient Cambrian ancestor, these genes are organizing the body into top and bottom, front and back. They are also segmenting it into zones of activity, marking positions for organs, appendages, and limbs. This fact, in 1941, there was a big bang. My dad's sperm collided with my mother's egg, and here I am. Every time I see a living creature, especially my cat, I wonder about this. And we and if you that, take a look at the Christians. difference between a mouse and a cat, the difference is not new types of cells, but change in organization. Somewhere along the line, those instructions were modified, not in a way that scrambled them, but in a way that gave subtle changes to lead to the differences between organisms. Then we have psychotic people, ignoring science, doing this. Organism because there is no God. It doesn't exist. We create all that with, the, with our brains. And this is a very ancient ceremony. Or this. <laughs> Bunch of retards. Yeah, retarded psychotic brains make people do something like this. It's like Christian priests, Muslim priests, Jewish rabbis, the same thing. Known as Sorry, there is no God. We were not zapping to existence. We create God with the brain. The truth is, we all evolved about 3 billion years ago from bacteria. Viruses prove it. Of course, every time I defecate, I said, praise be, holy shit. I just asked created organisms. Imagine, I produce billions and billions of bacteria cultures. You know, the ancestor of whales uh, looked like a, like a pig and live on land. Then it evolved. So all adaptations made by the toolkit in all of us. Whales and dolphins are not fish. They're mammals. About 55 million years ago, their ancestors gave up the land and began to live in the sea. At Stanford University, biologist David Kingsley is investigating the mystery of how the whale lost its legs. This provides a clue to how the whale lost its legs. Fish without them. Both contain the PIDX1 gene. What makes them different is not the gene itself, but a nearby piece of DNA. In sticklebacks with hind limbs, a piece of DNA called a regulating switch responds to a chemical stimulus and turns the PIDX gene on. Here you the go, hind Christians. limb grows. Learn. But in sticklebacks without hind limbs, a small change of DNA in the switch has inactivated it. The gene doesn't turn on when it should, and the hind limb doesn't develop. King when our toolkit mal malfunctions, we are born with defects. There's no God. This child was born without a skin. No thanks to an intelligent designer. It was saved thanks to science. Atheism. The blast is organ that, protected. Oh, what a fine God, right? Intelligent design. So the reality of it all is that we are evolved, mutated primates that created God and rest of delusions with our brains when they are ignorant, retarded, and they malfunction. So, uh, when you're saying you're an atheist, you like believing the nonsense. When you believe in God, you're retarded. You can screw up the planet by doing that. Believing God is like believing bovine excreta smell like roses. Pachetiorum.